This is a down and dirty video. It's going to happen real fast. Here's the pool deck. We appear to have a one foot six elevation from the lobby to the. Uh, let's confirm this is. Uh, it's. I'm, I call it lobby. I think it's called the lobby also. Thirteen six. I got that from the uh, this 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 level here. Thirteen six. We appear to be said fast video. So let me talk fast. One foot six elevation difference. Twelve foot here. And 13 foot 6 here. I won't go into it now, but it appears it's the video before this one or after it. It's about 2 inches difference in reality. They changed it by about 2 inches. Let's look at it in this format. The uh, side profile view, if you will. Pool deck slab. Um, elevations. And there's the elevation of the lobby. They're connected. The pool deck is connected at the uh, column sections. Uh, just like the floors are connected the same way, the, the floors above. So they're connected there and here. We get our our uh, our collapse happening at the pool, towards the pool deck. That's where people observed it, witnesses stated as such. That it looks like the pool's caving in, not ca and or caved in, uh, different, different opinions on that, uh, a wording rather. And that deck punched shear through all the, all the columns. As it came over to this structure, it also punctured, pulling down, weakening, weakening this structure, the uh, column here. Now, the I think that the interaction happens here. I think there is some interaction. Let's see if I can add this. Um, oops. So I want to add this. Let me add, let me add let me add uh, a huge. Uh, how about a purple one? A purple one. Let me change this for you. I want to do it live because I want you to see it. I think there's some interaction like this going on inside here. The reason why is that the um, remember we have the pool the, the collapse on the ramp happen happen. So we just don't have buckling of the column. We have this some minutes go by the person observing the collapse on the ramp, and that that maybe look something like this some interaction and, and closing in between the two of them. So when this pulled down and separated, it was able to pull um, at this decking up here. And then let's say this let's say this goes further back through lap joints, etc. This is just a detail. And it's actually going this direction. It's not going um, the direction that I'm showing. What I'll do is I'll go over to my I gave you guys a link to this now. It looks like this. So that interaction is down here. This is the upper level and this is with the ramp I believe the ramp right here as you look down these this area right here between these two this is the elevation changes I find two, 11 foot 10 it's 2 foot 6 and the bottom of the ramp is 2 foot 4 so they believe this is the ramp and when they see the collapse uh, it, I don't it's it's right about here is the shear, shear plane here here and here I leave open that it moved over just a little bit and, and did that I leave that open but but here is a plate, uh, clear line of sight between two columns that it could have sheer planed off. Um, and then it falls down, the person seven minutes views it in this direction. So this is why, um, so the cutaway of that, if you will, looking at it from, from the cutaway, would look something like this, the one foot six difference, which is really like one foot four when I, when I find a two inch calculation difference. Um, the uh, the uh, so this is what it looks like, and then they add the concrete cover, etc. And there's a should be a small step down here, from here to here when you come out of this building, with the adding the concrete cover, etc. That would be part of verification of that. Um, but nevertheless, this deck whether you, whether we shift it up a few inches, this I think will this elevation I think will stay the same. But we might have to shift the deck up a few inches. It might not be quite one foot six. It could be one foot two inches. And then they had to cover the uh, concrete um, pavers and concrete onto this deck. And we know it's, I, I don't believe it's higher than here because I think we show on the first floor you can enter and step down onto this lower deck. So this, this is probably how this happened. And there's some built up over here, perhaps. All right. So this is the quick and dirty version of it to help you get from the deck failure over to the inside failure that would be the ramp failure you're looking at also.
and that also is in line with in line with the exterior so this is page 239 so that's in line with uh, so where's my ramp right here two foot six and then here's two foot four that's the ramp coming down there's the garage there if you follow these this load path right down here's the one foot six and then we follow it out lo and behold look where we are we're outside the pool we're in line with the punk shear that we see clear punk shear going backwards into the structure and we have some lateral punk shear that got pulled down incidentally from this failure going this direction or it could have been the cars that started and moved over and then down. Sure, that, that's a possibility. But more than likely, it was the, uh, and there's probably a crack in the deck right here. This is where I predict the crack. End the video because I wanted this one short. Bye. And then you'll look at the longer version.